Welcome back to eSIM Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. It's a pleasure to have you joining us today. Hope everybody's having a eventful but safe uh, New Year's holidays. Now, I want to bring to your attention something that's uh, quite the opposite, unfortunately. Um, we do all need to be aware of, of, uh, of viruses and malwares that are out there and affecting users. And I wanted to bring up this specific one. It's quite different in the way that it, it attacks your device. This not only includes your device, but uh, it includes you and your money as well. So we all need to pay attention and be aware of uh, these things that can attack you specifically. And uh, we'll get into uh, how to spot it, how it gets on your device and what you can do to prevent it. Now, let's go ahead and bring up the website. I found this on very, very cool website. It's called threatfabric.com, and I will link this in the video description box below. But title is Android Banking a Trojan Chameleon Can Now Bypass Any Biometric Authentication. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Um, so basically what it was was an existing uh, banking uh, uh, Trojan malware that was discovered in earlier in t uh, 2023, almost 11 months ago when recording this, but they found a newer, upgraded, uh, new and improved version of this chameleon banking Trojan. Um, let's see, its primary targets are mobile banking applications with distribution through phishing pages disguising itself as a legitimate application. It says, um, in line with our earlier research, now this is the website, during this investigation, we were able to track and analyze samples related to the updated Zombender. These Zombender samples utilize a sophisticated two-stage payload process. They employ the Session API, through package installer deploying the chameleon samples along with the hook malware family you see back when they first discovered this in early 2023 it was just in its um early stages it hasn't really you know it was it has not really reached its full potential at that time um now this specific banking trojan has developed and expanded to full its full potential unfortunately to us now it says this trojan displayed a distinct capability to manipulate a victim's device executing actions on the victim's behalf through a proxy feature this feature enables advanced maneuvers like account takeover ato and device takeover DTO attacks, particularly targeting banking applications and cryptocurrency services. These functions relied on the abuse of um, accessibility services. Yes, it says the earlier variant of Chameleon Banking Trojan also employed a diverse set of distribution methods with a preference for disguising itself as legitimate applications through phishing pages and using a legitimate content distribution network for file distribution. Now, this specific malware um, is often distributed by posing as Google Chrome apps. Um, there are two new features that stand out in this updated chameleon variant of the malware. The first, the ability to bypass bypass meaning skip over or skip through biometric prompts right uh, meaning fingerprint uh, face scan and the ability to display an html page for enabling accessibility services in the devices implementing android 13's restricted settings feature these enhancements elevate the sophistication and adaptability of the new chameleon variant making it a more potent threat in the ever-evolving landscape of mobile banking trojans now let's see 
So you know like sometimes when you download it and install a new application, it'll have you go through, you know, ask for certain permissions that you can give it or it'll it'll ask you to um, approve accessibility permissions. Well, that's what it's doing, except remember it's disguising itself as a real application. So it'll have you approve certain permissions in your phone, just like this that's on the picture here. Um, it'll guide you through the accessibility services giving that permission and will basically you you think you are using and setting up a new application and giving it certain uh, uh, permissions when you're in fact giving the chameleon trojan malware permission to not only access to your phone but it also finds its way to the banking apps and cryptocurrency applications and or logins you have on your device. Yes, it will log itself into um, the banking and crypto apps. And uh, it's a very, very dangerous mouse. Okay, now check this out. It says one of the methods employed in that it utilizes to get through your biometrics, uh, it, it employs the key guard manager API and accessibility event to access the screen and key guard status. It evaluates the key guard state concerning various locking mechanisms such as pattern, pin, or password. And upon meeting these specific conditions, the malware utilizes the accessibility event action to transition from biometric authentication to pin authentication. So it'll change your um, screen lock. This bypasses the biometric prompt, allowing the Trojan to unlock the device at will. So it facilitates the theft of pins, passwords, or graphical keys through key logging functionalities because biometric data remains inaccessible um, to these threat actors. And secondly, leveraging this fallback enables those same actors to unlock devices using previously stolen pins and passwords. This is achieved through the accessibility actions that you give it permissions uh, to. So although the victims of biometric data remains out of reach for actors, they force the device to fall back to a pin uh, unlock, thereby bypassing biometric protection entirely. So it'll go in and change your screen lock and change it to whatever its um, default code is. And then once you, I'm assuming, sign into your bank account, let's see. It says, in addition to the features discussed earlier, the updated Chameleon variant introduces a capability also found in many banking um, other Trojans task scheduling using the Alarm Manager API, a feature not present in the, its earlier work in progress variant. Um... While task scheduling is commonly among Trojans, what sets this impl implementation apart is its dynamic approach, uh, efficiently handling the accessibility and activity launches in line with standard Trojan behavior. The emergence of this new chameleon banking Trojan malware is another example of the sophisticated and adaptive threat landscape within the Android ecosystem evolving from its earlier iteration. This variant demonstrates increased resilience and advanced new features with an expanded focus on users in the UK, Italy. Um, the Trojan employs multiple distribution methods, including deployment via Zombinder, and masquerading as legitimate applications, such as the Chrome application. So, how do you, um, I'm going to link this in, in the description box. Um, so, how do we prevent this, right? What's the best way to prevent this so this doesn't happen to you? Look, the in my opinion, the very best way in that article just describes what it is and how it attacks and or gains access to your phone, but doesn't really describe how to prevent it. But um, basic 
fundamentals on how to prevent these malwares to get on your device is pretty basic, but you have to stick to it. Um, where it, now it uh, attaches itself and disguises itself inside of a clone app. So these hackers will develop an app that looks like um, uh, a State Farm app or I don't know, like Candy Crush or something, right? So it looks and acts just like Candy Crush. However, it has this malware implemented, but it does not get onto the Play Store. The 99.9% .9 of these get onto your device by downloading and installing an application not on the Google Play Store, right? So if you get your, if you go to, um, uh, if you get your app or an APK, if you sideload it, if you go to one of these um, websites that have a bunch of APKs, yeah, I've, I've pretty much stopped doing that. There's only one place that I will go to uh, uh, for if I do need an APK, and that's APK Mirror. APK Mirror. I'll, I'll link it in the description box below. But um, the Graphene OS, the super secure and de-Googled operating system, doesn't even have the Play Store on there, although you can get apps um the google apps from a kind of a secured app store but it's very very minimal um don't install any applications or any web apps outside of the google play store um, or google chrome that's the basically the way these are getting onto devices look i used to download and sideload a ton of apks and that's when I, when sideloading is a term of downloading an app outside of the Google Play Store and then installing it on your phone. Nowadays, that's a big no-no. Um, I don't think I have any side-loaded apps on my device at all. Um, I've basically stopped doing it. But um, there is one place that I can think of that I would feel comfortable doing it. Um, and you can look into that for yourself. But if you can just stick to the Play Store, Google Play Store, and that's not even safe proof, right? But also keeping your phone, um, the firmware updated. Make sure you have the latest version of Android. And as far as what phone is the safest, I can think of two phones right off the, off the top of my head. Google Pixel and a Samsung Galaxy. Now, the Pixel is the safest because it gets uh the newest version of android and security monthly security updates every single month so it's always going to be the safest android device to own is a google pixel coming in in a close second is going to be your uh, uh samsung flagship phones i'm not sure about the a series i think those are a little behind on updates i could be wrong but um the flagship galaxies like the s23 ultra or the upcoming s24 series those are probably second, a uh, close second as far as how safe they are from catching malware. But stick to the Play Store with these applications. Don't download any, download any app on your computer or on your phone and then installing it on your phone. That's a big no-no. And just be careful of the permissions, right? Be careful of the permissions you give these apps. Please review all your permissions and please check for a software update on your device. If there's any more news that comes out uh, in regards to this, I'll definitely uh, uh, let y'all know as soon as possible. I will keep an eye on this for everyone and uh, hopefully uh, knock on wood that, you know, uh, it doesn't reach any of us. But um, please be aware of these things. Uh, your online privacy and uh, money is at stake. So please, this is a very serious deal. And I did want to bring this to your attention. We don't do a lot of this stuff, but it does involve mobile technology. So that's why I'm covering it. So check out the link in the description below. And uh, I appreciate it. You have a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.